Hey there guys and welcome to the EH Geeks Podcast And in this podcast episode I will be discussing protecting your board from removal But just before we get too far going on into the video We make lots of great content here on the channel But did you know that over 94% of people that are watching this video right now aren't subscribed It would be of great help for this channel if you would consider subscribing So please think about subscribing It really helps out the channel a lot Alright, so today I'm discussing protecting your board from removal and actually this is kind of a misnomer to what I'm actually talking about But it is mainly kind of what I'm talking about Because I actually think that protecting your board like from like board wipes and whatnot Is pretty irrelevant actually I don't know to, to be honest Like I don't know whether that's a hot take or not or whatever Anything like this But honestly I just don't see the point at all all in in any efficacy of running anything that protects your board from removal like i just don't see the point like there's so many times that i just find that it's irrelevant pretty much like if they have the board wipe they have the board wipe if you have the answer you have the answer that's the thing like but if you don't have the answer then it's like, oh, okay, cool, my, my board gets destroyed. Of course, it is nice when you save your board and you can do stuff with, with what you're doing because, you know, you want to do stuff. But the thing is, it's like, well, that's so irrelevant most of the time, realistically. Like, yeah, protecting one or two things is nice sometimes as well, but I also just think that that's pretty irrelevant also. Uh, it's just one of those things that it's just not that important, I don't think. I think recursion and that sort of thing is much better and much more relevant to you because look at it this way. And I know that this is not always going to happen either, but the thing is this situation that I'm about to discuss is going to happen way more often than what, you know, having the answer in your hand is going to happen Unless, of course, you're running a lot of, like, protection. In which case, it's like, how much board do I have to protect when most of my stuff is stuff to protect my board? Um, but anyway, most of the time, when removal happens, you're not going to have the protection. That's just going to happen. And then if you top deck, you know, the protection spell after your board's gone, then it's just like a dead card that doesn't really do very much, if anything at all. Yes, sure, you can try to rebuild your board, but saving it for a couple of mana isn't really worth it, I don't think. Like, yeah, it's that nice gotcha moment or whatever that people, I think, love to think about. Like, oh, it'll be so good, I'll be able to say, ha-ha, gotcha, opponent. I've, you know, count essentially counted your... Um, board wipe for my board i've given my board indestructible everyone else's boards are gone but mine's still here and i'm gonna come in and attack you next turn or whatever when i uh, type or whatever so it's one of those things that it's just like magical christmas dreamland to think that you'll you'll get the, the protection when you need it to me it's not going to happen that much realistically in my opinion it's one of those things. It sounds better on paper. And I don't know, maybe it's better in certain formats or whatnot than than what other things are. But again, when you start saying, well, how many pieces of like board protection am I actually wear uh, you know putting into my deck? I think you want if you want to run some, it's just fine, but just in my opinion, it's just not worth the time. But anyway. You know, people run two to three board wipes for the most part in the decks now. Yes, some control decks and some, you know, other decks run a few more and whatnot. But most decks, most decks run two to three at the most. 
you know, so you're not going to see that many in a game for the most part. You're going to see one Wrath maybe from each player in the in the entire game at the most. And that all, doesn't always happen either. So it's just one of those things. It is nice to su- help have your stuff survive the Wrath, but it's just not going to come up that much. Yes, sure, it will come up, but... You don't need to save your board from removal. Like again, you can you can recur your board or most of your board for two or three mana uh, with things like Agadim's Awakening and things like this. So I just think cards like that are much more relevant. Yes, sure. Again, they're not as relevant always as well either because again. Sometimes the board wipe doesn't happen, or you've drawn it before the board wipe happens, or whatnot. But again, it's going to be much more relevant to bring your creatures back from the graveyard than it is going to be to try to protect them from going to the graveyard. Now, yes, if it's exile-based, it's a bit different, but again, there's not really anything that protects from being exiled. So... Until that sort of does happen, unless you just like running counter spells, then that's a bit of a difference. But then your other opponents won't be board wiped and you'll still have to deal with what they're doing. So it's one of those things where I just think, well, what's the what's the difference to me? You know, I have this, you know, sometimes and very rarely sometimes useful protection f- spell for my board that I have in my deck, maybe as a two or three of at the most, because I wouldn't want to run too many more than what the number of board wipes my opponents would run or the number of board wipes that I would run, because it's like, well, they're only relevant in very specific circumstances. And the other dream-like scenario that a lot of people say is, oh, well, I can, you know, wrath the board and then at instant speed protect my own board with indestructible or whatever now yes there are some like cases where there are cards that are more worth it like if it gives extra effects like um um whatever it is a chroma's will or whatever it is um that card's really good because you can choose between the modes that you want or need and it helps give you like the aggro strategy when you're attacking. But when you're not attacking, you know, it can give your stuff indestructible, help yourself pr- protect yourself and things like this. So that mode's really good. So yeah, cards that are optional and modal, I would take a little bit more of a look at. But just cards that are just protect your board, I wouldn't look at as much. If it does something else, like when you're going to combat and when you're doing things actively, like that's good. Or if it has another mode, like it can draw two cards or whatever, or it can blow up an artifact or enchantment. Any of these, like just any little thing that it says, do another thing. That's why I don't like heroic intervention and um, any of the white ones that just say give your board indestructible, basically. Because there's a lot of those ones as well. Uh, not as many of them are as much played as Heroic Intervention. Because Heroic Intervention is two mana. Um, and that's just like a very good rate. Like it is a good rate. But again, you know, like if if you were talking about like Pioneer, Modern, Standard, these sorts of things... And you're going up against the control matchup. Yeah, sure. Okay, fine. That's for those formats. But not for Commander. Not in my opinion, at least. Yeah, sure. Again, again, you can... I can cast my board wipe and someone can go, pay two mana. I'll give my things indestructible. And I'll go, okay, cool story, bro. You know, um, or whatever. You saved your board or whatever, but, you know, I'm going to such and such blood artist triggers, so you're just dead, or whatever, <laughs> you know. If if I see someone like that, and I have those sort of blood artist triggers, and I can 
ping them to death with all my blood artist effects. I'm just going to target them because they've got a board and I don't want them to untap with it. So I'm going to target them. And most of the board wipes that I run again aren't symmetrical and that sort of thing and actually aren't board wipes at all. They're sacrifice ba based like um, Tragic Arrogance and Exile based like Winds of Wrath. So those ones wouldn't even work. So, like, again, that's where it comes into being, like, there's so many wraths, like Tragic Arrogance and Winds of Wrath and things like that 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 get around, like bounce effects, you don't get around it. So it's one of those things. Again, there's so many other effects, like bounce effects, sacrifice effects, exile effects that you just don't get around with these I give my stuff indestructible that it's just less and less worth it. It's one of those things that you just like look at it and go, yes, it is relevant in certain circumstances and those circumstances may come up in the game. But again, that's not how much is that worth? Not very much really. I'd be much better running off some recursion of some sort in my deck that means I can actually get, you know, whatever I'm doing, you know, interplay from my graveyard and whatnot so that if my board does get destroyed and i need cards back from my graveyard hopefully i can get them back with those spells but hopefully you've got enough other spells to keep you going and you've got your commander and other things to do rather than just like you know looking for you know recursion absolutely like if you get the recursion yeah sure that's great that's fine you can definitely use it and, you know, you have some great stuff there. But I wouldn't run more than one or two unless your deck is dedicated to recursion, like Merin and things like this, or more Drother and decks like that, because it's just not really at, as worth it to run a lot more than that. You won't really need to run a lot more than a couple of spells to recur your stuff, in my opinion, either, because... It, a wrath will happen maybe once or twice in a game at the most again and you'll only need a couple of turns with your creatures and whatnot from your graveyard to probably close out the game and win so it's not like you're trying super hard to worry about getting these other cards i don't and whereas i find that when you're like hoping that you can get through combat and hope your stuff survives or whatnot, or hope that you can find the answer to the wrath, it just doesn't work out. And then you end up top decking it in the next couple of turns, and then you're just like, oh, well, this is a dead spell that does nothing. So choose spells that have another mode, because, you know, again, Jessica's, um, you know, a Chroma's will rather. <laughs> has that other mode or it has other things that you can do or whatnot and there are other spells like that cycle away for two mana there are other spells that you know will destroy an artifact there's other ones that will deal four damage to an opponent or whatever things like this even though that you know four damage isn't that relevant a lot of the time sometimes it can be the difference between the game you know swinging in your favor or whatnot, or you can deal four damage to a creature, and you know, things like that. So, combat tricks aren't completely irrelevant, they aren't great in Commander, but again, you can still use them if you if it's ne a necessary thing that will mean your ultimate, you know, victory and things like that. Um, but again, it's one of those things I just like cards that are more flexible because. Again, you're going to come into so many different situations, and like I said, like two-thirds of the removal that's in the format isn't destroy-based removal. So spells that just do one thing aren't good enough, like in my opinion. Yes, yeah, sure, uh, again, I'm not saying that you, you can't run them or if you want to run them you shouldn't or whatnot. I'm just saying... Look at what I'm saying. I'm trying to make a specific argument and say, hey, consider this. I'm not trying to say anything else. I'm just trying to say, consider what I have to say and think about it. Do I have some accurate points? Yes. Hey, so 
think about like at least saying, okay, well, yes, sure, I'm not just going to run, you know, heroic intervention or whatever. That's an okay card, but if I find myself in a situation where it's not good, then what am I going to do with it? You know, then you've just got a dead card in hand that doesn't really do you anything. You need these cards that are flexible, can do something else or whatnot that, you know, you can find another use for because you don't ever want a dead card in your hand and sitting there and going, well, this would have been relevant several turns ago. Like, you can still find cards like that, even though they would have, they're would they always almost always relevant. Like, you just don't hit your ramp on the first few turns, and then you finally hit your ramp on turn 7 or 8, and you go, well, this would have been more relevant on the first couple of turns. So, But, you know, that happens. Like, again, it's nice at least that you get another mana source on the battlefield or whatever, because, again, you know... You might not really need it, but you might as well cut more lands out of your deck or, you know, have a, as much mana as you can to cast more spells, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, that's a really good effect still. But anyway, guys, I hope that you have gained a bit of a <laughs> something from this uh, discussion that I've had here, a bit of insight, whatnot, that sort of thing. And I hope you have enjoyed uh, my little discussion here. As I said, bringing more stuff to the uh, channel here. Uh, and I'll be bringing you much more in the weeks to, to come. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know more of what you guys want to hear. Write your stuff down there. Tweet at me on Twitter. DM me on Facebook or the page on Facebook. Uh, and uh, hit me up on that Patreon because I would love to bring you guys more great content and be able to, you know, serve you the best way that I can with this content. So, yeah, I hope you will join me again for another one. See you there. Hey, you've just finished watching one of our videos. A bunch of other videos are popping up on your screen now for you to check out. So why not check them out?